11th century, Italy was the center of European trading. Merchants from all over the continent met to trade their goods, but there was one problem. Too many currencies in circulation. In Pisa, merchants had to deal with seven different types of coins and had to exchange their money constantly. This exchange business, which commonly took place outdoors on benches, is where we get the word bank from, from the word banco, Italian for bench. Hello, my dear students. My name is Garrett and I'm your English teacher. Today I will teach you a lesson. Hope you enjoy it. Hi guys! Are you ready for an interesting activity? Hope so, because today we have a very important topic – money and finance. Have you ever wondered what money is? Money is a measure of value. For example, any work can be measured in money. Any commodity can be measured in money. In the same way, weight is measured in kilograms, length is measured in centimeters. Just think of the enormous value of these pieces of paper have. You can buy a real house or pay for a trip, although the method of manufacture is very cheap thing, and it is when some kind of reform happened, these pieces of paper can lose their value in one night. What makes money, money? Why is money so valuable? Try to answer this question. Right. I'm glad you were able to answer this question. Money has such a high value because it is associated with the obligations of the state. If a state fails to fulfill its obligations, for example, to repay a debt to another state, the value of money falls. With the development of the society, the role of money became more complicated. In the modern world, this is part of economic relations, without which we cannot exist in the form we are used to. If we remove money from our lives, then humanity will return to its development several centuries ago. Without money, many professions will disappear as people will be forced to engage only those activities that will help them to feed themselves and not to die of hunger. The international banking system is an enigma. There are more than 30,000 different banks worldwide and they hold unbelievable amounts of assets. New words are written on the board. Let's read them and define each of them. Money. Money is a current medium of exchange in a form of coin or banknotes. Now I will give you some examples of the use of this word. I counted the money before putting it in my wallet. The main aim of a commercial organization is to make money. Her aunt had married money. He borrowed money to modernize the store. She accepted the job of a public school since the money was better. Credit. Credit is the ability of a customer to obtain goods or services before a payment, based on the trusted payment 
will be made in the future. Now I will give you some examples of the use of this word. John Gilfin was a citizen of credit. At the middle of our conversation, his phone ran out of credit. The abstract philosophy of Cicero has lost its credit. The bank refused to extend their credit. She had $15 credit on her account. I've got unlimited credit. He was exceeding his credit limit. He's a credit to his mother.